Welcome back, friends. I am Mevo7. This is Football Manager 2018 with our journeyman save, and we have a job offer. Let me show you where I have job applications in at first, and then we'll kind of go on from there. So you can see at the moment, um, there are some jobs still in Iceland. Oh, and I need to sneeze. Let's see if I can avoid that. Uh, two top league Pepsi Del... Uh, Delden here, the, the Pepsi department, and one in the first men's department there uh, with ER. So what we have applied for is a Ukrainian job in the Persia Liha. So I believe that is their premier league there uh, with Helios Kharkiv. Uh, and then one here in Sweden in the Subraten uh, with GIF Sundsvall. One in Poland in their first liga uh, with Rus Chorzu. And uh, SV Mattersburg uh, in the Austrian kind of tip three Bundesliga powered by T-Mobile. Um, and so we have heard back from Rus Chorzu because that's the hardest one for me to pronounce. So uh, Chorzu it is. Uh, and I am a leading candidate, which is appropriate because I have a job offer. So they're willing to pay me 500 per week, which comes out to, let's see here, let's uh, flip over to... What am I trying to do here? Display capture, there we go. Does that show up there? There we go. All right, so calc. Now I should be able to probably do this math on my own. Um, and this is how I should have done it, 500 times four for the, whoops. Times four equals 2,000 times 12 equals 24,000. Um, there we go. So uh, that is 24,000 pounds per week. And what's the uh, learning Polish here? Uh, currency converter. Uh, is it British pounds? Pound sterling, what do we call it? Uh, I remember I had a hard time finding it last time as well. Because it's not under English, is it under British? Of course not. It's not under English or British. That makes complete sense. Why would we put English currency? There we go. Here, we'll just go click that one. Um, so one British pound, great British pound. GBP? I don't understand. Is uh, $1.35. So we can go times 1.35 for the, whoops. 1.35 for those of us that oh, really it cleared everything i didn't do clear all i just uh, 24,000. so about thirty-two thousand dollars. that's almost an actual real wage um and in poland that that might go somewhere um i'm not actually sure let's go back to um let's turn off the display capture there and go back to the game um, so uh, in the absence of not having any other jobs offered, do we delay for a week? Um, this club is in, in the middle of their, 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 their league play here. So let's see, they're two stars. That's right. Pretty much where we want to be. They're playing a four, three, three, which I like, um, their schedule, senior squad, not doing so well. They're about the halfway point, it looks like, right here. So 10.31. They look, we've got about four games. Then it looks like we're probably going to have a transfer window and uh, a winter break. Where were they meant to be? Uh, preview. Well, let's look, see where they are right now, first of all. They are out of relegation right now, barely, um, but they are out. So 15 games in. Um, they're doing, you know, slightly more than a point per with 16 points. So 447 there. And they have a slight goals against average over everybody below them as well. So where were they supposed to be, though, at the season preview? This will tell us how hard this job is going to be. They're supposed to be seventh. All right. So they're 14th. So they should be up here somewhere in theory, which isn't a huge difference. You know, um, instead of seven losses, you know, it's. Five losses, an extra, you know, two wins and, and 
Move two losses over to two wins. Um, goal differential, though, pretty big from here to here. So, you know, over those uh, 15 game goal, they're supposed to be scoring an extra goal a game, essentially. Um, so they're underperforming there, which is interesting because they're playing a 4-3-3. You would think that this should score some goals. It may give up some goals. Uh, and maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe that's exactly what's happening, actually. Let's... Um, uh, Tactics, senior squad. What can we see here? Uh, this is interesting. Okay, so we are seeing what they're playing there. Can we get to an analysis of that? No, not without um, not without some sort of scouting. I'm assuming. Um, history overview. Okay, so they've been they were up a league, so they've recently been relegated, and then so we're. This is primarily a top league team that's that's fallen on some slightly hard times and, and you know, they've fallen and they can't get up. I think this is probably a decent place to go. Um, I was thinking about delaying just to see if somebody else came in that I could pronounce. Um, but I think, I think we, we P-R-Z-Y. How the hell do I say P-R-Z-Y? Does it tell me here? Um, let's go back to display capture. I mean, Perzy, the P R. Okay, it sounds like a Z with a tail, but we don't have a Z with a tail up here anywhere. Guys, you gotta, you can't, you can't reference one thing I don't know how to pronounce with a letter you don't actually explain. That that doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. Um, I have no idea. No idea. Whoops, I didn't want to turn off the webcam. We want to turn off the display capture. There we go. So the head coach job. Presny. Sisha. We're going Presny Sisha. That's where we're going. Darn it, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna say yes. Should we, should we negotiate a little bit? Think we can get 525, suggest? You know, that's an extra, you know, 125 bucks a, a month. Oh, wait. Well, we didn't get 500 per week, but it's nice of them to round up for us there. So, we accepted it. I thought... There we go. The colors change. Ruz, Ruz Chorzo, Chorzu. I know the O there with the thing is pronounced like a U for me. Um, I'm really having trouble with the CHs though. Oh wait, we are supposed to sign high profile meetings, which makes absolutely no sense to me. What are our finances like? They told me our finances were poor and then they told me they wanted me to sign high profile people. So um, we have some money at the moment. Um, this is a team, I think, in ownership that's not adapting very well to being down a level. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out how to do that. And I'm not really sure, to be honest. Uh, we can go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's get this started. Sounds great. Love to learn more about the club. Um, I hate meeting the journalists, but we talked to him one time before we let the assistant manager deal with him from there on out. Um, thanks again. Uh... Great to see a summary, sure. Um, yeah. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to um, our responsibilities really fast, and I'm gonna adjust some of this stuff. For the moment, I'm gonna leave these there. Um, oftentimes, especially non-coaching staff, I turn over to the general manager if there is one. Um, do we have one? I guess I should look at that. Uh, we do have a general... Uh, Head coach assistant. We do have a general manager. Hmm. It says one chief scout, but uh, I don't see him there. Is he doing? Oh, he's doing both. Okay. Okay, he's got an additional role. That's fine. That's fine. 
Okay, so find and make offers for first team. Um, you know, we're not going to be here for forever, so I'm going to continue to let the general manager handle all of that stuff. I think this is probably pretty similar to what I had on the last team. It doesn't look like it's changed. Uh, I will handle first team. They'll handle youth team. I do need to make sure if I'm if I'm going to sign like a 17 year old that I want for the senior team, I'm going to need to change this because otherwise it's automatically going to go to him, and they they tend to lowball him a little bit. Um, offer first team players. You've uh, now I'm going to let him handle that once I've offered them or transfer list transfer list to them. I'll let them sell them. I can always give specific directions as far as sell at you know full price, half price, just dump them, all that sort of stuff. But it's just a couple of less clicks I have to micromanage. Um, youth teams. Okay, we'll let him do that. Uh, general manager. Okay, so I think that's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at scouting really fast. We'll confirm our changes there. Oh, I did forget something, but that's okay. Um, preferences. So I think right now, sort by recommendation. I think we'll go with a 60. We'll try to knock off some of the stuff there. Um, during transfer window, probably every week, we'll do 20. Outside of the transfer window, yeah, one month and 20 is probably fine. Um, I think that will be okay. Scouting focus. Short term. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I haven't played with a lot of this, to be honest. Scouting budget. Now, we can move money. If we had a transfer budget, we could move money in. It's it's a part of your transfer budget. Um, you can see there, we've got no transfer budget, but that's okay. We don't, we're don't. not ready to do any of that anyway. Scouting responsibility. All right, so, and general focus we clicked on. Yeah. Uh, age. Um, I think we're going to say peak. They want us to look for high-profile players, right? Um, and we're not going to be here forever. We're not interested in building a team for the future necessarily. We'll be here for a couple years, maybe two, maybe three. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe one. Uh, player style. Um, interesting. I didn't, I didn't realize we had that there. Um, whoops, that's not what I meant to click. Let's go back to our general focus here. So we're going to say peak. Goalkeeper style. Um, I don't know what we're going to do yet. I think we'll just leave that there for now. Availability, um, typically. Okay. Now, the question is, are we interested in technical, physical, intelligent, creative, or leaders? What do we have um, on the team right now? That would be interesting. Let's take a look at our report really quickly. Um, so we create five chances per 90 minutes. So we are creating chances using a four- 4411, which is interesting because we saw that they were running a 433. Um, we have some young prospects, so that's good. We jump well. Apparently, we're getting a lot of uh, shots from crosses, so that's good. Shooting accuracy is decent. People are showing up to watch us, that's always good. We got a good goalie, good right back, uh, a good option at center back. I don't know if I have good goalie. Well, it says I have good goalie somewhere. So we were good in goal, but. And Hanger's the best there. Uh, we make good decisions. Close knit, impressive first touch. I like that a lot, actually. Um, okay, so what do we suck at? Tackle success is poor. So maybe we want to stay on our feet. Um, 4 3 3 hasn't been very effective. So we've been conceding eight chances a game with that. As opposed to the four four one one where we've been we've been creating five, so we're gonna have to take a look at that. We hopefully we can look at our now that we're in the team, we can see that analysis. Um, don't have a lot of depth outside the first team. It says, um, despite having young talented prospects, they must be playing for us. Zero transfer. Um, we concede a lot of goals. Um, that's that's the problem. So it's not us scoring as much as it us allowing goals. Um, we don't dribble a lot. I don't really care about that. Um, Is this supposed to be our our best player is playing a six six four? That's that's pretty terrible. 
I mean, we don't have a lot of depth outside of right back, although he is a superb right back. So we're okay when he's in. Um, and left back is the same thing. We don't have any um, depth at back. And I am just on display. Oh, okay, good. I was getting pop-ups from my email. I wanted to make sure you guys didn't have to look at those. Um, we don't work very hard. So maybe we're going to play a lower tempo. And 11 of 34 assists conceded have come from deep positions. So we're given, we're given goals away from over the top and we don't work very hard. So that's telling me that we're not running. So we probably want to play a little bit deeper and we probably want to maybe play a slower pace um, and maybe do a 4-4-1-1. Let's look here. Let's check analysis, see what they've given us here. So this, oh God, never mind. Um, the 4-4-1-1, while it does generate a lot of chances, um, it clearly gives up a lot more. Uh, we haven't played anything really that's been positive on this. The best has been a 4-2-4 wide. Hmm. That includes friendlies. Let's turn off the friendlies. Let's say domestic league matches. We've played enough of those. Um, and the 4-4-1-1 bounces out a little bit better there. But uh, the 4-2-4 wide is really the only thing that's done okay. We've never started it. They've used it for 172 minutes, though. Um, so maybe we should look at that initially. So uh, what does he like? I'm, I'm sorry, we're not doing that. Um, so let's see if we can find that 424 wide. Um, four defender, 424 wide. Interestingly enough, that's what I've been playing in Bulgaria as well, off and on. And it is very, it can be very offensive. It's odd that they're not giving up as many chances with this one. Um, let's just do a quick pick here really fast and see what he's given us. Um, so I'm going to go to our here. We're going to look at our team depth chart. And uh, okay, so this gives us three and a half stars are better up front. Three and a half there, three there. Uh, two four-star midfielders. Not a lot of depth, but we have three star depth there. Uh, two and a half star, three, two and a half and three star depth back there. Three star depth back there. So at least we've got one decent backup for all of these. Now here at left back, we've just got the one other player. Now he's not terrible, two and a half stars. It's not a huge drop off um, from David to Marson here. Um, but we only have the two players. And, and same thing here. Um, four, two and a half, he's still a, a decent player, but... He's the only one we have. And then on defense, we're doing okay too. So it looks like right now we could run these four with those three as our subs. How's our goalkeeper? Okay. Um, so that gets us three subs. We run these two. We're up to four subs. Five subs, six subs, seven subs. That seems to work. So that gets us... Every position covered to some extent, and our starters. So let me go. Um, so we want, let's come here really fast. I'm going to sort by position. Um, I'm going to turn off the subs for the moment because we'll set those ourselves. So from a striker standpoint, Is that who we were supposed to be running? No, they think Setla is the better option there. Um, he plays a lot of everything. Okay. So, and then they wanted uh, Zliga and Przbeki. Uh No, completely wrong. Javorski and Zvek. Whoops. Javorski, us, he's already, oh, he's, they've already got him playing. Interesting. So they think, they think Setla should be starting on the right, not Svek. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to swap that. So Svetla is not only our third best striker, he's also our best there. So, so we will run. Wisniewski probably back there then is our backup. Um, whoops, did I go the wrong direction? 
Um, so Wisniewski will be that this backup. We'll swap that. And uh, was Przybecki the other? I uh, know Javorski. Javorski. Are we starting him on accident? No, nope, there he is. Okay. So, and did they put Sloma? Okay, so Sloma, Setla, Humalak, and Baliki. Okay, so that's what we got going on. And then for our midfield, it should be Novak and Urbanzik. Novak, oddly enough, not Urbanzik. So we're going to swap there. He's injured at the moment. Okay. Five weeks and two months. All right. So is Sakura supposed to be our best after that? Yes. And then it looks like we'll put Adrian on the bench there. Okay. So we do that. And then uh, where is... There's Anne Adrian. Adrian, here we go. There we go. And then Adrian goes there. So that covers those. So then down here, it's supposed to be uh, Gajny, Zitkowski, Kulievsky, uh, Karnicki. Okay, let's, let's go. Whoops, wrong direction. Okay, so I think we have two of them, right? Gajny and Kulievsky. Okay, so we need uh, Zwalski and Korninicki. Whoops. Korninicki. Okay, so that's what they think we should have. As far as right here. And that leaves us uh, Pigel and uh, Vasilewski as backups. And our center backup is going to be Malkowski. So this would be what we'd run according to that. And I think that makes sense. I mean, we do, we do need a goalkeeper here as well. Yeah, I'm not sure why he picked who he picked for goalkeeper, but we're going to swap goalkeepers there. Um, that is supposed to be, I believe, our good goalkeeper, right? Yes. And then uh, Porges, he would be our backup primarily. Okay, so we do have some talent here. So he plays left and uh, attacking mid, left and center. Okay, so two and a half stars. Um, is he better than who we have coming in as American as our as our left, right, left? He's also got some some upside there. Um, Javorski. Okay, so there. Whoops. We have Javorski here. Um, so these two are pretty compatible, com pretty comparable. He's a little bit more flexible in that he can also play striker. Um, 22, good crossing, dribbling, finishing, a little bit of acceleration, not a lot of pace. Um, and then Zalinga here, um, more acceleration, very fast, um, good mentals. So it looks to be a difference between technicals and mentals. So Javorski is a little bit slower. But his technicals are very good. His mentals are eh. Ziegler's fast. He's got flair and teamwork, and he has work rate. Man, those technicals, 12, 12, 12, are really nice. But on the other hand, we're having trouble with work rate. We're having trouble with people that play. And an attacking midfielder, he might have to do some running. What does our current attacking midfielder look like? Okay, so he's got good technicals. He's fast. He's got decent work rate. Great crossing. Okay. And on the right, a little bit of speed. Work rate's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, he's not as good a crosser. He's a better dribbler. 
Okay. I think initially, at least, we're going to run with this to begin with. Um, the only one I'm kind of a – let's look at – he has more stars. He's fast, great mentals, determination, flirt. So he's very creative. And he would play right. Whereas he mm, – I might swap those. Let's compare the two. Um, compare with Setla. Okay, so we see Setla's better aerial, better technical, better attacking. Svek is um, Sepch. Oh my god, these names are going to kill me. He's going to be Michael. Um, better physically and faster. And can play a couple more positions. Let's look at the actual attributes, see how it breaks down. So you can see the technicals right there. He's better free kick taker. We could probably live without that because he's a much better penalty taker. Um, so technicals, clearly, it's just a landslide for Setla. Over here, though, he's got leadership, teamwork, and work rate. And he's a lot faster. Now, because teamwork's an issue, I'm going to go with Michael in this case. So let's go ahead, first of all, before I continue to screw up his name too badly. Um, did I just say we're going with Michael? I did say we're going with Michael because I want the work rate. Um, Sevich? Sevic? No, we're just going Michael, damn it. I'm sorry for all of you Polish speakers out there. I know my Polski is terrible. And I'm not even going to, in some cases, I'm just going to have to give up. Rather than butcher it, I'll just give up. Um, so we'll put Michael there for now. Um, but we've. I, this isn't a bad team. I can see why this team was expected to do better than it's been doing. So let's go back here real fast. Let's see what they say. Um, celebrating our proud centenary uh, 100 years ago. So we need, to, we need to play better. That's what he's telling us. Um, I've got a lot of players on on loan, interestingly enough. Um, that's not a bad thing. We just need to take a look at those players as they as we get some loans. Can we get some um are any of them getting play time? Yeah, and uh, well, you know, yeah, eight, nine, ten, eight, ten. Some of these guys are getting games. Uh 7.3, 8.2. He's granted he's only had the one game. Um, but looks like we've got some good goal, and they're both loaned to the same team. So uh I'm assuming one's backing up the other there. Uh, but they've both played very well. Ten games there. He hasn't played quite as well at defensive center there. Eight and nine. Uh again, not spectacular there, left and defensive midfielder. 7.6 over 10 matches for uh Thomas Lu uh Lewandowski, though. Okay. Okay. So he's played well. Ooh, five eight two and five five zero. I'll be. They might have recalled them from loan. <laughs> they might have sent them back if we keep playing like that. Um, social feed. Well, go ahead and accept that. I hate that stuff. Um, captains. I think we stick with whoever our captains are. Um, current captain. Uh, yeah, I don't see a reason to change that oh, or that. That seems fine. I mean, I guess we could flip down to Michael there, but I think we're just going to confirm there. Match prep four two four. They are actually familiar with this one. Um, not with the marking, though, so we're going to have to take a look, see what's going on with that. Um, they enjoyed their greatest success in the 70s. Okay. They have they have a little bit of – they've got some silverware back there in the cupboard. Um, we've already looked at that. Um, welcome from the general manager. One other thing I wanted to do before we get too far is responsibilities for first team, and so we can handle press conferences. I guess I should do the first one, huh? And then we'll switch it. Um, and the assistant's going to handle those. Player search advice, okay. We'll let him do that. Although we've already seen some options there that I'm not hugely thrilled with. Um, pep talks, tactical briefings. Uh, can he, is our assistant coach at all? Um, that's me. Is he motivating? Yes, more so than I am, probably. Um, what's my motivation? My profile. Mine is seven. So we're going to let him give the team talks uh, just because he's better at it. 
I think that's uh, pep talks. We're going to let him do that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. If he starts to jack it up and just pick stupid stuff, then we'll we'll change him out. But right now, he's he's going to be better at that than we are. Uh, next thing I want to do, whoops, confirm changes. Will they send me on a coaching course? Yes. All right. We got another coaching course going. So we've got that sorted. All right. I think that's probably all the, the preliminary stuff we need to do. I want to check at the marking. So they didn't like the marking that they were doing. Let's go. Let's look here. Um, I think probably we're going to go counter. We're going to drop a little deeper. That does slow our temple down. I'm fine with that. Um, I'm going to go a little bit structured for initially. Um, we're not good tacklers, so I'm going to say stay on our feet. Um, I think that for now, maybe dribble less because we're horrible dribblers. It's either that or pass more, right? Um, dribble less. There we go. So I'm trying to wonder, we do bravery. We've got some vision, a little bit of flair, not a huge amount of creativity coming out of there. Um, good decisions and decent vision, but no, but no flair. So we, these guys are not creative players. Um, although he does like to be an advanced playmaker. So I'm going to put him there. I don't know that that's going to help us much. It's not going to be bad. I mean, he has some. Um, he clearly isn't going to be with a vision of two, but he likes to be a central midfielder. I'm not going to put him on automatic. I'm not a fan of that. Um, fullback, he wants to be defensive fullback. We're going to just leave him as a regular fullback. So we go there and we just have to stay straight. Def you know, we've been very bad defensively. I think I'm going to go defensive fullback. They like it. They're good at it. Um, central defender, that's fine. Central defender. He could be a defensive center back, but I think I think we'll let those guys stay back. Um, now we're just going to play him where he's happy. Now, this means these guys aren't going to get a lot of support up top. So he likes to be that. He's fine and wing back and support. Let's take a look real fast. His crossing and stuff isn't very good, but he is very creative. Um, a lot of flair. Vision is not quite as good. Um, He's essentially just a speedster up there on the side. Now, his crosses and stuff are very good. And he's also fast. We may want, but his decisions aren't necessarily good. I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest, guys. Uh, can we finish? 14 finishing, 14 composure, 14 off the ball. This boy should score some goals. Man, he's 29 years old. Okay. Um, but he's slow. Pace of 7, acceleration of 12. Um, Balicki. A little bit faster. Good first touch, composure. Okay, we have him as a defensive deep lying forward, excuse me. Let's try him on support. He likes to be in, but he's just so slow. He'd be better as probably a false nine, to be honest, where we could where he wouldn't have to be quite so quick. But I think we go with that. Um we do get most of our assists from crosses, so we're just going to kind of run with that, although we have maybe neutered that. If we're going to play slow, maybe we are better off with the other player at winger. But let's let's give this a chance for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to save this. Got one more message up here. Mellow7 to do that. I'm going to click ahead a couple days, and we'll see what our first match is going to be. All right, guys. Welcome back. It took a little bit longer than I expected. My neighbor's mowing his lawn, so I think he's done with the front yard now. So we'll see how it goes. Now, this is how our roster looks. And for the most part, it looks pretty good. The only kind of um, first-team player that I don't have in the starting lineup is the injury, uh, Urban Schick. So, and, and not much I can do about that. So the only player I've got in there that doesn't look like he's got a lot of play time um, is Arthur Balicki here. Uh, only two starts, although 10 more sub appearances. Now, the only negative is he's only creating 0.38 chances per 90. And he's playing at 6.5. And you can see when we click here, there's four people on the bench that can play this position. All of them create more chances. 
So with the exception of Wisniewski, uh, we don't know what type of chances he's going to create. He's had two subs. He really hasn't had any time in there. Um, but you can see 0.93 for Setla, 2.78 for Javorski, but he's only played really played at all in three games, two starts and a, and a sub appearance. Um, so he could have had just one really good game and then it's all kind of gone to pot after that. Um, but 0.53 um, for Adrian there in nine appearances with a goal and assist. So we'll have to see how it goes. And Setla's got two goals and assist on top of his 0.93. And that's an 11 matches. So that's a pretty, that's a decent um, sample size for us. So we may have to look about getting Setla in. And you can see he can play four positions. Um, you know, maybe we put him in for Michael, but Michael's, you know, Michael's done okay too. He's also got two goals, uh, 0.88, so not much of a drop off there. Uh, realistically, it's that second striker position um, that I think is the biggest worry for us, but he's a three and a half star player. You know, that's better than anybody else we have here as, as far as the stars go. And uh, I say he can dribble and he's got good first touch. He's just not particularly fast, but he does have good off the ball. So, I don't know. It might be nice to get a little bit of speed up there. I think Setla is faster. Now, not much, not much, but he. Never mind. Um, Jaworski, how about you? Good acceleration, not a lot of pace, but good crossing dribbling. So that's not too bad. That might not be bad to put him up there. Um, and Adrian, uh, we just don't have a lot of speed to put up front. That's. That's what it comes down to. So we're going to see what happens. Our match today against uh, Bytovia Baitu. By Tuv, by Tau, it's a U, by, I'm going to go by Tuv, by Tovia, by Tuv. Um, they are in like fifth place, fifth place, there you go. So we're not expected to win this in any stretch of the imagination, even if we were playing to our potential, so to speak, we were supposed to be here. So they're, they're still a decent team. Um, this is not going to be an easy match by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I expect we're probably probably going to lose it. I'm going to hit save real fast. I have had some crashes. We've done a lot of work here to get tactics and stuff set up. I want to make sure it's good. Um, I had two crashes yesterday. I don't get a lot. Um, maybe maybe a crash every two days or so, but I, I, I do get crashes. All right. <clears throat> I think the, the leaf blower and the weed whacker are done. Let's see if we can play a game. All right, so we are clearly going a little bit more offensive than them. Uh, let's see, most of their goals here have come from Jacob's, uh, Jakob Serafin, actually. Six goals, three assists. They've got a couple guys who have to be careful here. They're on their last yellow card, including their captain. It'd be nice if he could get sent off. As far as us, our star player back down here. Uh, Kormanichi, Kormanichi, 7.05, 15 appearances, two goals and assists back there from the wing. But most of our goals come from... Michael Hamalak here. S Hamulak. If he plays well, he's going to be the hammer. Okay? That's what we're going with. Uh, underdogs. Yep. Cause an upset. Let's see. Do we have any of this that we really want to do? Um, left. Right. Right. Doesn't look like it. No completely one-footed people. Right only. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and put him on his left. And I think that will be okay. Uh, they're in decent form, it looked like. One loss and five. Four wins. So, underway. We are in the white. And two minutes down, we're not being blown out quite yet. Uh, they are leading possession. We're on counter. There we go. Get our possession more or less back. I think it should stay pretty even for us, I hope. Um, you know, we're, we need a point a game, probably ish um, to stay out of relegation um, and we're just supposed to avoid automatic relegation I believe is the only requirement so even if we were to go down that's not necessarily the end of the world but it wouldn't help their finances I did check the dynamics and we do have that um, big hit because the player's reputation is so much higher than mine so we are taking that hit but otherwise we're not too bad um, as far as Locker room atmosphere and the uh, cohesion, to be honest. Uh, locker room atmosphere surprised me a little bit that it's decent with the team having played so poorly, but... Um, we've three shots, none of which were on target. One was a half chance. Two of them were long out of the, well, now four. So defensively, 
I think we've been better. We haven't gotten any chances, um, despite our fairly advanced setup there. Um, I don't honestly know that we got the speed to run a counter-attacking offense that I think this formation is best with, but um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, dressing room, not doing badly. Don't disagree with any of that. Has anybody played just dog poop? Hamelock. Hamelock. 6.2. Uh, I just, I worry that he just doesn't have the speed. Let's, let's see. Who do we want to put it? If we don't run him, who do we run? So we could run Balicki and then slide him up. Um, he does have some finishing and good first touch. Again, he's slow though. I'd rather run somebody with a little bit of speed up there. Um... And we've got lots of options for that. I mean, we could run Wisniewski. Um, he doesn't have any speed either, but he at least has acceleration. Um, good pace, good off the ball, so he's not a bad option. Setla has a little bit, 11 and 11 for acceleration and pace, but he's not good finishing. But composure's good, and he has some flair. Again, good acceleration. Technicals are good. I don't know. I mean, we just don't have we just don't have speed to put up there. Um, we're already playing fairly slow. I mean, we could we could knock down the tempo even more. Clear ball to flanks. Maybe something along those lines. Uh, let's not lower the tempo quite yet. Let's leave that where it is. Let's try clearing the ball to the flanks and see if that will get the ball up the field a little bit better. And start the second half. We'll see what happens. We are away as well, which doesn't help. At least I, I think... Well, maybe we're not. I don't know. I don't know the colors yet. I think we're white and blue, so this would mean we're away. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're not losing. We did get a shot. Two shots, okay. We're getting something going on. Are, are they decent shots? Um, let's look at, well, let's look at shots. They're beginning to get a possession. They're beginning to push a little bit here, right? Because uh, they're supposed to be beating us and they're not. And my nose really, really itches. Um, so we've only got the two shots. They, they've only had one on target though, just the one half chance, which we've also got. Um, Seven of their shots have been long, so we're keeping them out of the box. Their passing is quite a bit better than ours. 61% is all for us. Um, our defensive passing is terrible. We uh, clearly don't want to play out defense. Oh, there we go. First highlight we'd seen. Um, just a free kick that went over the, went over the crossbar. All right, I'm going to get scared of highlights, to be honest, because... No news is good news for us. Really, a draw is all we could hope for, but it'd be nice if we could steal a win. Sloma tried to feed that one in. Comes back at him, though. He dribbles up. Nice little shot. Balicki's there. Yes! Yes! Artur Balicki gets the goal assist from Camille Sloma. Oh, my God. There we go. There we go. You know, and this may be how we have to play this. We just have to kind of hang on, play solid, and then when we, when we get a chance, we have to put it home. Uh, and we do have some finishing up front, so that's we shouldn't hopefully miss too many sitters. You know, we got decent finishing with decent composure up there. Um, I didn't sub anybody. Uh, Kulowitzki probably should have been with a 6.3. Um, we've got some people in the 50s, but I, I don't want to really make a change now. I think we've... Come on, guys, just... All we need to do is hold this one out. We don't... We don't need, there we go, that's fine. Balicki. Oh no, that's not what we want. Let's. Oh, can we get? Can we win that back? Run the other direction with it. Oh, this is this is dangerous here at the end. Very very dangerous. There we go. Clear that back out. We're almost done. Ref, you can blow the whistle anytime you want now. Anytime, anytime. There we go. Mm, and we go into Bytovia Bytov, and we steal a win. Absolutely stole it. They had more shots, but look, they couldn't get good shots. They had no clear cut chances. Um, we don't have long shots here, but we saw that a lot of their shots were long. They weren't getting in the box very much. They did have possession here at the end. We pretty even in the first half, second half, they, they just, they, they pushed, they pushed. 
Um, and we played a little bit better. And that's it. That gets us up to ninth place. You know, that that may be the only one we need this half, right? <laughs> we can go on thinking we're okay. Uh, so people have written us off. We played very well. Um, everybody's happy with that that speech there. So he's doing a good job there. It's hard to hard to not make them happy when you say you've won a game when they've when they were exposed to lose. Um, we're gonna hit continue here and uh, celebrate unlikely victory. And hopefully there'll be a couple more to come. Like I say, we don't we don't have to set the world on fire here. We just have to win, you know, every third or fourth game and not lose all the ones in between. Uh, claimed your teams. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think we were a bit for. I think we played what we were supposed to play. I don't like any of those answers. Um, that's what our team is supposed to do right now. Weather the storm and get a lucky goal. And I mean, yes, we're saying that it's a lucky goal, but we're designed to make our own luck, right? That's the idea. So I think I'm just going to say no comment. Um, teams can generally stay in the first league with 35 points. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think our chances are high. Yep, it keeps us moving. Uh, a win in your first competitive match. Uh, great match. Everything went according to plan. Um, yep, I think that's it. So, Sloma played well. He had an assist and an 8.1 rating. Uh, let's see if there's something we can... Um, okay. Always, always worried about those. And that is that. So uh, let's take a look, see what we've got coming up in the rest of the half. Uh, we've got Resovia Reza, Rezu. Uh, they're in 17th place. Um, so hopefully that's one we can win. Uh, then we have Polonia uh, Warsawa. They are in 11th place. That's a potential win as well. And then we finish up the, the first half of the season, um, the fall season here with Olympia and Blog in 14th place. So we've got three winnable games to, to, to run out the rest of this half. And then we're going to get into our winter break. And I assume transfer window. Uh, no, this is August. Let's come up here. Transfer window opens on the 1st. So not till February? Okay, that's fine. And then it closes March 1st. So we have February to make transfers with no games, and then we jump right back into it February 6th, running hard. So um, I'm assuming that right now what we're going to come back for is oh, they're in first place. We might come back for this match. <laughs> Maybe something that's beatable. We'll be at home. The transfer window will have closed, and and we'll play uh, Vidzu Lodes. Uh, Lodes however that's pronounced at home. Um, so we'll, we'll get our first home match. We'll, we'll get a look at our stadium, which is, I guess we should take a look, um, unpronounceable in Chorzao. Uh, Cizesh? Maybe? Prizzi Cizesh? Seashells by the seashore. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I know this was a long one. Welcome to Rus Chorzu. Shorzu, Shorz, I, psh, Polish is going to kill us. Icelandic was tough enough. Now we've got Polish. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.